Hello there, and welcome to Dr. T, uh, Volcano Island for June the 12th. Today we are going to take on stage one and eventually we'll be able to get you some stats so that I can tell you things and stuff. So the HQ that we are headed towards has 43,000 hit points. As you can see, uh, it also provides a significant amount of free GBE on the way. So while you're going to go visit grandma, make sure to stop off in the woods and pick up some cookies. Because everybody likes cookies. Now, if, if you're really worried about that sniper tower, by all means, toss down your barrage and artillery. You can take it out. It won't do anything bad to your tanks. And you'll have one crappy rocket launcher throwing down some damage at you that you don't really have to worry about. You'll you'll take out the HQ before that rocket launcher takes you out. And really, because you farmed up a whole bunch of GBE, you can just throw, drop a few med kits and hopefully do some fantastic things. Okay, let's move on to stage two, which has 180,000 hit points. It like just like right through the roof, crazy jacked up. Now, the boom cannon down there has 3,500 HP, and the sniper tower up here has, I believe it's 10,000 HP, and I know what you're saying. Why in the world would you go the hard way? Well, first of all, there's a bunch of free GBE that you can farm up on the way. Second of all, one shot from that sniper tower probably won't kill your tanks, but one shot from the boom cannon very closely could. But the big thing is... That sniper tower isn't protected by anything. That boom cannon, no matter what angle you come at it, there are a bunch of defensive buildings in the way that are going to make your life miserable. And it's just easier when you don't have to kill it all. You can just kind of roll up at the top. And you also don't need to drop any GBE attacks. So if they're lower level and all you've got is a shock, throw a couple of freaking shocks. That's totally cool. It's 100% doable. Anyways, um, hopefully this works out for you. Now, if for some reason I am really wrong and with lower level tanks, things go really bad with that sniper tower, uh, by all means, change it up. Go through the easy to kill defenses and then take out the boom cannon. And then accept my apologies because, you know, I was wrong. Anyways, moving on to stage three. Stage 3 has a hundred and forty thousand hit points, yes? Yes, a hundred and forty thousand hit points, booyah. Uh, <laughs> and a wall of defense is in the way. So uh, one shock, very carefully placed, can stun both of those uh, sniper towers. Which are, let's face it, the def defenses that are probably going to be doing the most amount of damage to your poor tanks. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously stun them, take them out, clear out some other bad guys that are in the way. And make sure to hug the, I guess, right edge of the map. And the reason I say this is because there is a shock launcher and that shock launcher has... Uh, a lot of hit points. It, over over 7,000 hit points. I, I don't remember exactly because I was like, you know what, we don't need to kill it, so why bother? Uh, so if you, if you go up into the top right-hand corner, absolutely nothing can hit you, and you can basically, you know, perch yourself up here and snipe away, get mm, all of the lovely uh, loot at the end. Sorry, I am a little disheveled this morning. We went out to a drive-in movie last night, and that was fantastic, but that also means I was up until 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, stage 4, which we're moving on to right now, is uh, 324,000 hit points. And the shock launcher right there has 12.6. Now, you're going to need to throw down some GBE on that 12.6k mofo, because it's got to die. Uh, and you're 
if you're lucky, gonna have held on to enough GBE for a shock so that you can shock the cannon. Honestly, the cannon is like the main thing you want to shock. Uh, if you don't have the GBE to shock these mortars, like the mortars are kind of just nice to do because that one mortar that I'm currently attacking has 20, uh, level 20, level 21, level 22? Like it, it has a buttload of HP and could dish out some pretty decent damage if you're unlucky. So, you know, just, just a cautionary tale, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, up until 4 in the morning, and then up again at 6 in the morning, uh, 2 hours sleep. Hence the groovy house coat. Yeah, I, I know. It's stylish. You're jealous. It's okay. It's, it's the glamorous life. Anyways, uh... Also, you know, it would, the, admittedly, the, the movies were pretty fun. We got to see uh, Conjuring 2 and some other even more horrible movie. But it was the drive-in, so it was okay. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Um, basically, Flair just south of the tree there. And I think the only thing that can really attack you is maybe... Uh, mortar which you can blow up uh, or you know if you don't necessarily want to blow it up uh, you could bring a cartload of medics a cart being a landing craft uh, yeah <laughs> and run them up the side stun the mortar and just let your 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 zookas did I say medics I don't even know what words are making with my mouth so It'll eventually blow up with luck. It just has a lot of hit points. And then you can move on to stage 5. Now, stage 5 drops back down to 207,000 hit points. And this boom cannon right here that we're about to blow up has uh, 9.4k, give or take. Uh, and there is a shock launcher that, you know, is like far away and we have absolutely no care about. But just in case you decide to do something with it, it has 18,000 hit points. So, you know, in, in enjoy. Uh, have fun with it. Now, we went up the right-hand side, gathered up a whole bunch of free GBE because that's kind of what we do and how we roll. And... <laughs> Alright, I'm finding myself far too entertaining. I know I'm sleep deprived when. Also, the cat apparently feels that I am equally as entertaining, which is a good sign because when the cat thinks you're entertaining, that means you're probably hallucinating. Resting bitch face, it's not her fault, I guess. Uh, so. Once you've cleared out some of the defenses here to make your life a little easier, go right up into the top corner, and basically there's some boxes there, and your tanks will start following naturally through the path, down the boxes, into the sniper towers, and with one foul stun... Well, it wouldn't be a foul stun. It would be a really good stun, actually. You drop the stun, you can fry all the sniper towers and the cannon and the rocket launcher just for good measure because it's in the way. And why the heck not, right? Um, and, you know, if you're a bummer like me, you will miss the rocket on the second stun. But throw a few stuns down just to make life easier on your tanks. If you don't have the GBE for that, well, hopefully you brought a boatload of medics or or really more appropriately two boatloads of medics um i however decided you know what i'm gonna live life dangerously and i brought a total of zero medics which means i'm gonna use a little more gbe than i normally would to take out a few defenses that i normally wouldn't so don't worry about taking out this rocket launcher your medics will be able to counter the, the damage from that very, very easily. And don't worry about taking out the sniper tower because, you know, your medic should be able to help. And don't worry about throwing three boxes of critters because, um, well, you probably don't have them. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you do. 
throw them anyways, sure, why not? Uh, it, and that's not so much to distract the boom cannon as to just add a little extra damage on. Uh, because if you do take out all the defenses that I did, you will have a nice safe spot to shoot from. So, this brings us to stage 6, and my, my tiredness makes itself frighteningly apparent because, um, well, basically, I, I lose a tank on this level that I should not have lost. I, I did a very dumb thing, and I apologize. It's all my fault. Anyway, the HQ for this map ooh, has 400,000 hit points. <laughs> uh, the shock launcher and boom cannon that I just blew up had 20,000 and 16,000 hit points respectively. Actually, I don't know which one blew up first and which one blew up second. So I'm going to do it this way. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am sorry. Uh, the boom cannon has 16,000 hit points. The shock launcher has 20,000 hit points. So whichever one I blew up first and second and then attach the numbers to those ones and you'll be okay. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, alright, let's just go with the boom cannon has this many and the shock launcher has this many. Alright, uh, good talk. So, flare up to the very top line. Hopefully everything should be nice and hurt from all of the barrages and artilleries that you've just thrown at the shock launcher slash uh, boom cannon. And then... Here, I kind of was just like, hey, you know, if I do damage to these things, it will make my life easier. And I was right. If you are able to take out those sniper towers and the rocket launcher, it will indeed make your life easier. However, if you run out of energy before you're capable of doing so, leaving them with just a crack... Oh my god, there's so little hit points. It's killing me. Uh, oh, look at them there. Look at them there. Anyways, that's that's my OCD problem, not yours. Well, maybe it is yours. I don't know. If you share it with me, that's awesome. I love to kill things with low hit points. It's just what I do. Anyways... The good, the, good, the good side is, uh, even if all those things are standing, like, as long as your tanks are grouped up there, nothing horrible is going to happen. Um, you may lose one or two more based on level and everything. That one boom cannon I lost way at the beginning against a stupid cannon because I was stupid not paying attention and I'm crazy and don't worry about it. Anyways, uh, stage seven, we've got this little cluster of... Uh, cannons and shock launchers and boom cannons and all these things and basically one foul swoop wipes out a good chunk and then drop your tanks kind of right in front of the shock launcher basically and then throw a stun on the cannon and the sniper towers and whatnot and let your tanks sort of roam forth and go free now, on this level, we have 408,000 hit points, give or take. You know, my rounding might not be the greatest, but you're in within a thousand or two hit points of there. Uh, the shock launcher we just blew up had 20,000 hit points, and the boom cannons that we blew up had 18,000 hit points. So... Just to give you an idea of kind of where we were in the world of Barajis, that's where we were. <clears throat> and we're not done. I am incredibly sorry. Uh, my throat is really rough this morning. <laughs> Alright, so again, another barrage and a, and a few artilleries to take out that one and really weaken up that sniper tower. And then another barrage or artillery, kind of whatever you have the energy for, to uh, throw at that, that last remaining boom cannon. Now, I did go right-hand side, uh, which I believe has more 
boom cannons, but because of the way they're clustered, you can almost, like, get two for one with some of your GBE, and that's one of the reasons why I did go up the right-hand side. Also, I figured, uh, because I'm not boosting at all anything, not even loot reward statues are getting boosted this attack, um, time may be a consideration, so I kind of cut up the, the right-hand side. If you go through around the left-hand side, there are three fairly um, widely dispersed shock launchers that you would have to deal with. And I felt that, you know, like, uh, taking on three boom cannons and a shock launcher where I could double up GBE, it would be a lot better than taking on just three shock launchers kind of a thing, if that makes sense. Uh, so that's why I kind of went this way. If you do try going left-hand side, though, and it works for you, um, you know, let me know in the comments. That would be great to know. I, I, I'd be really interesting to know, you know, what other paths other people have taken, uh, because by all means, it is very much possible that there are different or better paths through this quagmire of defenses. Anyways... From here, it's just basically me flaring over and over, trying to find just the right position to not be in range of these stupid cannons. But for some crazy reason, there's a couple of tanks that are like, no, go screw you, I'm pulling up. And I was like, uh, let me try saving you with the smoke. And then I thought that I actually had that one in the smoke and it didn't happen. Oh, weird. Anyways, hopefully this has helped you guys out. Hopefully... Uh, you guys got what you needed out of this, and most importantly, hopefully you have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. Fantastic day. Good night.